Hey guys, hello and in this video I will show you how you can make a simple mobile charger with the help of a regulator which is 7805 I told you thousand times it is a power bank Okay, it's a power bank We had to take a many shots because of him So, uh, okay And, <laughs> and uh, you will need more uh, micro USB port and a 9 volt battery uh, Perf board and that's it okay so let's get for this the components you need are a PCB a 9 volt battery a 7805 regulator this I will this hey man focus cut man focus it yes now it's not focus. yes man now it's focused uh, you means it's written by laser but it's not 7 visible 7805 regulator L7805 CV means uh, it's 7805 regulator means which will get means this regulator will uh, means the input should be at least 7.5 volt or 5 volts and its output will be 5 volts okay so that's why we are taking a 9 volt battery this regulator 7805 means 5 means 5 volt okay this pad cap and one micro USB at least uh, means Oh, this you can get it from your old uh, cable if you have it or just order it from internet okay so actually uh, and then we have cut it this PCB into a smaller size this okay then what we have to do is just insert this okay 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 wait 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 this is my friend's project so hey. so he wants to do it so he will do it Okay, show it, man. See, what you have to do is just insert this here into three holes. Okay, in any three holes. Now this here, any three holes. If ah, you will be needing a perf board. Means there should be holes, holes, holes in it, and there should be single holes like this. Okay, and then what you have to do is. Uh, I'll show you the uh, diagram then you can just understand it and I have to show you the diagram Man, you have not drawn the diagram yet I am showing now Okay, see here There would be a regulator here Actually there is no diagram I think so in the electronics to determine this regulator and then keep it like this okay then here there is one leg here there is one leg here there is one leg I am showing it by this side means like this okay here so there is one leg here one leg here one leg here so what you have to connect is here positive end here positive end output there is input here here there is negative volt input and here there is negative volt output so this is how this middle leg will connect to the ne negative side this po uh, positive the this side negative positive to the emitter side okay um, yeah, that's it and this becomes uh, hot means if you give too much of volts like 12 volts okay uh, so you have just mounted like this if you do not have any heat sink but we are using a 9 volt battery so that's why it will not become too much hot okay. so uh, I'll just okay. Okay, so uh, I will show you how it will be. Just take this nine volt battery, and we are just means there is excess over here. So if you like, you can just cut it, or if you have any more modified idea, you can just um, share it in the comments below. See here, here there. I will show you. I will show you like this. So this is input. This is to connect it to the means ground. This is the output. See, I have connected it in a hero output. So if you just place it upside down, here there would be an input. So positive this wire would be connected here. So my friend was want to do do it. So he's just soldering this. Okay. I uh there is one video which is about funny soldering video. In which I'll show, I'll um, taught him how to do soldering with some 
funny jokes if you want you can. okay so guys actually I've just framed it according to its size okay see ya I've just framed it small so that mm. see my design is like this focus what I have to do is this is input and this is output okay so this black wire no this red wire will go into the input here okay and then this black wire will go into the middle part and this and this uh, there is one more wire red this will go to this this hey the glass is slipping are wo udhar acha okay sorry man ha okay this will be the output here you will put this and there will be one more wire okay so we'll just solder because my friends want to do soldering so it will take some time okay okay so guys i've done it see Uh, I have actually soldered it and just flattened it with a uh, file. Okay, right. so that file means uh, this. Okay, and so that it can just fit nicely to the battery. Okay, and while doing this, you have to use a glue uh, instead of using a tape because if you place tape on this. The tape will melt and your connection will break. Okay. Man, you said that you are using tape on my experiment. I'm using not. I'm not using tape. Okay. This will connect here. I will just show you how it. Okay. Here it connects. We go here, and there are two outputs. This will be connected to the OTG. Okay. Okay, so guys, uh, this is OTG micro USB means this. If you place it like this, okay, like this, ah, uh, so this will be the end. This part will be the positive side, and this will be the negative side. Okay, so what I am doing it is I will just connect here and here, and this negative here, and this positive here, and just solder it, and I will show you. Uh, I've just soldered all the components, and it is same according to the diagram. Okay, In the back you can just see. I've soldered this here. Uh, okay, this here, and here is the regulator. This negative cap goes here. Okay, um, okay, it's done. So I will just show you. How it works, man? Yes. Where is the battery? Yes, man. This is the battery and the final test. iPhone success. Hey, no, it's not iPhone. Hey, which phone is it? Samsung Galaxy E5. Okay, so it's connected. Now. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Hey, charging, 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 ding, 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 ding. Can you see? This is charging. I'll just show you. Man, to the current back current side. Yeah, that black one. Yeah, it's charging, and we will test it for some time. Okay. Okay. So guys, we are done it. It's yeah. Actually, I don't know. I've not observed it because, uh, because this is small video, okay? And this video is over. Uh, actually, I've made one more video, which is previous bit before it. Uh, world's smallest power bank, okay? This is more good than it. It will charge for four or you fifteen know, or thirty minutes, and why are you? <laughs> okay, uh, it will charge your phone for some time. It's uh, for emergency, okay? So you need a very good battery for it. 
Yeah, because if you have a good battery like my one, it can last till one day. Now, it can, man. <laughs> Yesterday I just charged it. Hey, it's a non-rechargeable battery. I charged it. Okay, yeah, mobile phone, okay. Yeah, and uh, after some time I will make a video on how much time it charged. What's the power bank? What says? Charger. This power bank. Okay, this is 9 volt battery and that is 3.6 volt battery, 250 mAh. Uh, actually, M they're not. Yeah, mAh. But you cannot use that small power bank battery to some mobiles such as Galaxy Note 2 or like that mobiles. I they are very big. They are very big and consume uh, yeah, very much battery bank. Yeah, because when I just plugged it to uh, iPhone 6s. Yeah, uh, the iPhone 6s charged that battery, okay? <laughs> okay, it seems funny. Um, stay. The battery got too, too hot. Not 9 volt battery, 3.6 volt battery. What is uh -huh, that? Okay, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, if you. This video is over. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay yeah, fine. Fine. This is our breadboard, which we had cut it into this size. Please do not do this mistake. Instead of that, you can take this breadboard. It's not breadboard, puff board. Puff board? And puff board. Or PC. TV. Okay, and uh, okay, uh, and it's over. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Share hit the like button. Yeah, <laughs> hit the like button. <laughs> it should die. <laughs> no.